open the door. And we got another moss golem. Or was it a different golem last time? I don't remember now. But this big guy also gives you a strength and a health. I think this was him. I remember the thick armor. He has that awareness power to reduce the difficulty of each challenge box by one. That's a pretty powerful skill too, but that's only for perils. I would not be able to use that with the boss. So I think the strength with an additional health is much more beneficial at this time. So I will enter and go after the moss golem. I'm going to use up some time so we can use our heroic feat and use our transformation by spending three to gain two agility. One and four. We gather up our dice. We have our encounter die with us. In strength, we have a three, four, and six. The heroic die is a one, or the encounter bonus die. Magic, we have one, one, five, five, and a three and four in agility. This is a combat encounter, so we will roll our die from our aggression. Gain a six, very nice. Let's start covering up boxes and see what we need to do. I'm going to use this heroic die of six and the four on the armor. Oh no, I don't need to use that much, do I? Because the armor box, no, the large box is reduced by one. I did not use my piercing blast, so I'd only need nine. So I can leave that four behind and use a six and a three. And using the heroic die on there means I have to spend, oh, there's two right there, two, which is exactly what I want to do. This four will cover that four. We don't have to take that double wound. The six will help us right there. This four in strength, well, there's no need to use it there because with my aggression, I can create a strength of two. Let's do that and have that cover there. Hold on to that four. I can really use some sixes so I can re-roll dice and I'll re-roll the one and the one here. Oh nice, I got the six. Six and a five. The six will go right there. And the five, I can place that there. I really don't want to take another wound again. But I don't want to use a die. Is there any other way? I will spend those two to create a heroic one. Spend that and the other strength to devastate, which will gain me a six in strength, a four in magic, and a four in agility. And then I will use my bird companion, Lilia, to swap two dice that are not heroic dice. So I'll swap the six and the four, which will give me the six that I need to cover that box. And I don't want to cover up that time anyway, so I'll take that as a consequence and be able to take my reward. And we're taking the big guy as an item. I have three items and two skills ready to move on. Spend two. Still haven't got poisoned. I'm really lucky this time around. Let's open this door. We'll see a great spirit. I don't think that's something I want to mess with right now. I definitely don't need the magic. And the forest blessing lets me reroll a die and gain a one. That's not that bad though, but I definitely want that vortex stone. Let's go that route for now. So I'm going to back out of the great spirit, which means I have to start another turn. Spend two. And if I enter this time, I have to do something and I want to take the item. I'm going to have to roll good, but I have my encounter bonus die this time. So let's enter the Vortex Stone and try to stabilize the aura. Stabilizing the aura will cost us two time. 
We can roll four plus our encounter die. Yee, I don't know about that. Six, five, three, two in magic and a two on the encounter die. I can gain a two with my aggression. I have an armor box that I have to cover. So the worst of it, which would be stabilizing the aura, will be taken care of. That's not a concern. I don't want to use a potion when I only have one wound on me and only one potion right now. I'll spend the five to cover the armor box first like I have to. That'll leave me six, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen. That's enough to take care of that. I will have a consequence of one time. And a second wound. Not too terrible. But we get to gain another item. That's one above my limit, which is okay because of my um, basic skill that allows me to do that since I only have the two skills down here. So this will be my fourth item. Our druid has a crazy amount of strength. And health isn't that big a concern. We have five, six, seven, plus the one extra. So we have eight. So we still have six available to us. We'll spend two. And I don't think we can waste enough time in the Great Spirit here to where we wouldn't have to explore. So we'll go ahead and explore now while we have no poison on us. We're going to lose two dice again. I will choose the Heroic die and another Agility die. Since Agility is my weakest ability right now, that leaves me with the dice pool having four Heroic dice, six Agility, and seven each of strength and magic. Spend two. Let's go here. And we have the Ice Shroom. And that's a nice, nice skill. Exploit weakness. Place an agility die, gain a heroic die of four. This is all agility and magic, with the exception of the two strength over here. And we only have the two agility. This would allow us to waste some more time though, so that's a pretty good idea. Let's do that because I want that skill. We will enter. We have to be careful here because the Ice Shroom's gaze causes us to skip the heroic feet step, so we can't waste time and add anything on. But I think we have enough abilities to get around that. We get to roll a lot of dice, so hopefully it'll be enough to not worry about skipping the heroic feet step. Got a heroic two. Agility we have one, two, th no, we got one, three, three, four, six. In strength, that is. Agility six and four. Magic two, three, four, six. We can roll our heroic die with aggression. Gain a two. We have no armor boxes to worry about here. The big box is reduced down to a nine because of our aggression. But we have the 10 that we need. That's not going to be a problem. We'll spend our 4 up here. And then our 6 magic there. We have a 6 here that'll cover our wound. And then another strength of 3 will cover that 2. Now we just have time penalties equaling 4 right now. Looks like we have three or four cards left in the draw pile. The Charmed Panther will give us a four in strength or agility. We'll take it in agility. I'll cover there. I can reroll two dice. We have two magic spots left. I'll reroll the two heroic dice. Gain a five and a two. I'll use the five to cover up that double time, leaving us with just the consequence there of one time. That's not a bad deal at all. Not worried about that. We'll take that consequence. Definitely want to take that exploit weakness skill. We're maxed out right now for level two. We have our three skills and we have four items, so we can't add anything else without swapping stuff out. We'll explore further. 
well, I don't want to say explore. I'm not exploring. I'm spending two. And then we have another poison cloud. And that doesn't have anything that I really want. I could spend three with that ability of spark to roll a magic again, then increase it by two, which means it would be at least a three again, no matter what. And I still need six if I were to level up again. Is it worth trying it to level up? I'm going to skip it. I'll go ahead and flee. Spend one and two time. Maybe I'll enter the Great Spirit now that I have so much strength and take the Great Spirit as experience. Let's do that. Let's enter and try to struggle free. With five strength dice and an encounter bonus die, I should be able to do this. Unless I roll terrible. No, I did not. Six, 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 one, three in strength and five for my encounter bonus die. That puts me in a pretty good spot. So the armor needs to get covered first. I'll just use a six and then this five here on smolder and 12 on the struggle free and that will cover everything very easily. We'll take the great spirit as experience leaving us with three more experience needed to go up to level three. We're not going to begin the next turn because we're going to descend down to the third floor. Give our deck another mix. Now here on the third floor we have Raining Fire. Heroic dice cannot be placed on this card. And now on the peril we have the added box of a Armor 3. And on the Combat Encounters we have an Agility box of 11, which is not good for us because we only have two Agility. But the Charm Panther will give us an Agility of 4 during Combat Encounters. And our Aggression can give us an Agility of 2. We also have Devastate that can give us an Agility of 4 also. So we're not in too bad shape. So far we have not gained any Poison. So we never had to worry about a Poison Resistance check when we're exploring. And we're going to explore again now. And once again, I had no poison on me, so I don't have to worry about doing a resist poison check. We're on our third floor. The boss is just below us. And we have a rune circle. It's only worth two experience. The swiftness aura would give us an agility, which is nice considering we have this Agility we have to deal with here on the smoldering ruins of raining fire section, but I don't want to swap out any of these So I'm gonna leave that alone for now Not enter Spend two Open a vine trap also only worth two. I was hoping to find something worth three so I could level up I am not going to enter the vine trap then two again. Oh, the Great Spirit is worth three. That's what we want to do then. We'll do the same thing we did and we'll try and struggle free from the Great Spirit. We will enter. To make sure we're successful and to waste time, I'll use my heroic feat when entering. Spend three to roll two strength. Gain a three and a four. Now I can roll my 5 strength and my 1 for my encounter bonus. Those numbers look pretty good. 1, 1, 4, 5, 6, and then the encounter bonus is a 3. Looks like we'll be safe. We need a 3 and a 4 for the armor boxes. And we have a 5 here to take care of Smolder. And a 6 and a 4. We'll cover that 10. No problems at all. Choose to take the Great Spirit as experience. That will be three, six, eight. That's enough to level up. Leveling up will gain me an additional potion, which means I can remove one of these wounds. Still only have the one encounter bonus die, but now I can have five items and four skills, which I'm at four and three. 
Let's move on. Open 